What's up everybody? Today, I have no agenda. I just wanna go out, get a few things done, hopefully try to catch a few fish. The water's probably like negative 200, but it's not frozen yet. Doesn't make any sense, but it's cold. That's the point. I'm getting orange juice all over my mustache. Orange juice is, is clutch this time of year. You know, you need orange juice. You don't want your immune system to fail you. I've been like swamped lately. Ever since starting Mule, I have been working my butt off on it, not complaining at all. I'm enjoying every last second, but it's it's just a lot of work. Mm. Okay, juice is gone. Just the absolute breakfast of champions. A little peanut butter and jelly. This has gotta be the most ghetto sandwich of all time. You're probably wondering right now, are we just gonna watch Ethan eat peanut butter and jellies and drink orange juice all day? Potentially. No. We've got more stuff to do, so let's go. But first I gotta finish this sandwich. We're gonna start with shipping out a few mule orders. So, gotta go to the store, ship these out, and then hopefully go catch some fishies. Let's do it. Thank you to everyone who has supported mule so far. I cannot believe that an order just came through as I was tying my shoes. That's magnificent. I have zero idea where I wanna go fishing. I'm just gonna fish from the bank today. I don't even wanna deal with the kayak. It's like in the 20s out today and the water is probably freezing. Yeah, enough yapping and yapping, let's roll. Best part about you, whoa, bluegrass, we got bluegrass. Hope y'all like bluegrass because it's a bluegrass kind of day. Well, let's hope that John, Steve, and Micah like the orders that I'm about to send out. I'm thinking they will. Three more orders fulfilled, and now I need to figure out where the heck I'm fishing. Let's hop on the phone and take a look at the maps. 18 minutes away, not bad. Can't say I've ever tried this place. Uh, there's a first for everything, I guess. Hopefully catch some trout. I have no idea, y'all. Let's roll. I just got here. It's really weird because it's like a golf course, but it's also like a public park. So I don't know if many people fish here or not, but obviously no one's golfing because you can't really golf this time of year. I was actually fishing a different stretch of this creek the other day, and I did manage to catch a um, little brown trout on a mule jig, just a little one, and he actually popped off right at the end. Oh, got him. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, it's a trout, bro, it's a brown trout. No. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I really don't have a whole lot of idea what to expect. I mean, no idea what this place has to offer. All I know is there's water. And honestly, at this point, I'll take anything. This is the same jig I used to catch a little brown trout in this creek the other day. Again, it was a different stretch, so I don't know if there's any fish in this area, but I'd have to believe there's a few. I hate fishing with all sorts of layers on. I like being able to just wear shorts and a t-shirt. So much more comfortable. From everything I hear, brown trout are supposedly pretty aggressive, and so I figure using a little minnow imitator could potentially be good for these guys. Fish. I wonder what this is. Oh my gosh, yes! Trout, no! Oh, he popped off. I need to loosen my drag a little bit. These fish have such soft mouths. I was horsing them too much. it. Looked like a rainbow. Oh man, I never catch trout. You don't know how excited that makes me. I was just dead sticking it, just slow drifting it down this pool. My goal is to learn more about trout. I would like to catch them on ultralights. Eventually I'd like to do more fly fishing, but for now I just wanna catch them on ultralights. Today's like my third trip out chasing them. I didn't document the other ones just because they were tough and I wasn't really sure what I was doing. And honestly, I just didn't have a lot of time so I didn't really mess with the cameras. Uh, this time I wanted to make sure I documented it. And especially if we can catch some fish, that'd be wonderful. Cast upstream, try to be quiet. And I'm gonna target the bridge from the opposite angle. I've just got a lot of learning to do for these species of fish. If I can, oh, oh my gosh, oh, he's got it. Oh my gosh, big brown, oh. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Oh, I'm so stoked right now. I gotta get my hands wet. Take off my gloves. I'm just gonna grab it by the jig because I need to get my hands wet. But look at that beautiful fish. Oh my gosh, I did it. I did it. 
I take a picture, I got proof, I finally did it. I know he's not a huge brown, but my guys, I'm so excited right now. Dudes, I'm so fired up right now. I have been trying to catch these dang trout for so long, I finally figured it out. I know it's a little fish, but it's a start. I'm gonna get him back to the water, take care of him as best I can. My dudes, I am so fired up right now. That's my first ever brown trout that I've hooked, landed, and officially handled that I caught on the mule jig. Now that's actually like the third trout I've actually hooked, but I just haven't handled any of them, got pictures with them. I'm super fired up right now. I am so fired up. I am so excited to learn more and more and more about these species. Freaking trout are so cool. I love trout. Whew. Let's get another, y'all. Let's get another. I know this video is like super all over the place today, but I am so fired up. So I literally cast it out there, I was drifting it, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna reel it back in. I'm reeling and twitching, and he freaking is right behind it, so I drop it. He hammers it, hook, land, boom. Clearly, brown trout are aggressive feeders, and maybe I've been fishing too slow for them. My gosh, that was amazing. <laughs> Like I know it's just such a small trout and a lot of you are probably thinking, wow, like why are you so excited about that fish? It just means so much to me. It's like I have tried to catch trout so many times and I just don't know what I'm doing. So that just symbolizes a lot more than just one fish for me. It's progress. And my friends, that is so motivating to catch that fish. This is just more my style of fishing. I don't like throwing spinners a ton. So throwing a, uh, a mule jig is more fun for me. Another one, my goodness, baby, yes. Yes! I am so happy right now. You guys, you... <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It sucks putting your hand in the water because it's freaking cold. Freaking pinned him. Look at the colors on that guy. So gorgeous. I am so fired up right now. I've caught freaking two brown trout today and I missed, I think, what was a rainbow, but maybe it was a brown trout. I don't know. Ah. Like, I don't even know what to say. I'm like super like, my, I'm like brain dead right now because it's cold, my hands freezing, and I'm just like, I'm speechless, I'm speechless. But let's get back to fishing, I guess, let's go. Oh, my hands are freezing, but this is so worth it. This is like straight up a crappie bait, and they're, they're hitting it pretty good, y'all. Just for S's and G's, I'm gonna throw this big spinner through here as well. What if I catch like a Mondo, that'd be hilarious. Fish. Mixing it up helps. Got him on the spinner, y'all. Little one. But he was aggressive. Dudes, this is amazing. These fish are on right now. All right. It's my smallest fish of the day, but he's gorgeous. Look at those colors, y'all. There we go. Honestly, for being such a little guy, I don't understand how he even mouthed that entire treble hook. Probably not gonna fish the spinner a ton more, mostly just because it has a treble hook and I totally left my pliers in the car. But I gotta at least make another cast with it because clearly mixing it up does help. So I'm walking over to that other bridge and then these deer behind me are just chilling. They just don't even care that I'm right here. It's a good thing that they are not in an area where people are hunting because these things would be toast. But I tell you what, it's beautiful. I love being in nature and experiencing the beautiful animals, the beautiful plants. It's amazing. Today, it's, I'm so happy I'm outside despite the fact that it's pretty cold. It's starting to warm up a little bit, which is really nice, but Gosh, I just love it, man. I love it. Maybe I'm just in a really good mood because I caught some trout. I mean, obviously that's probably the case. Speaking of trout, let's go try to find just a couple more. It'd be wonderful to catch one or two more before this day has to end. I mean, I just got errands to run. I'm a grown man, got responsibilities. I wish I didn't have responsibilities, that'd be nice. Ah, but that's life. Oh, dude, one just whacked it. Dude, I was working it back fast and this homie comes up and just slaps it, but he didn't get the hook. Fish. Feels like a better fish. Oh, baby. And that current? Yeah, baby. Beautiful brown. My gosh, these fish are so pretty. This one is beautiful. Oh, man, I gotta get somewhere where I can put my hand in the water. Definitely one of my better browns so far today. About the same size as the first one, probably. Beautiful fish, my friends, beautiful fish. I had him pinned. He was going nowhere. Not the ideal release, but it's just impossible to get down there.
there's a whole bunch more water that I'm not gonna be able to fish today, but I'm definitely gonna try in the future. I'm gonna have to try to come back here tomorrow if I can. Oh my gosh. Best brown I've seen yet. Just came and swiped at it. Guys, I'm gonna have to come back here. I don't have enough time today, but there's a lot more water that's gonna be really productive. Dude, that was actually a solid brown. Oh my gosh, one just, one swiped it. People, guys, they're rolling on it. They've missed it. Oh, he's, gosh, dang it. Dude, he keeps swinging on it, but he's not hitting it. Oh my gosh, guys. There he is. No, dude, 16 plus inches, easy. Oh, I just had him on the outside of the mouth and it popped free. No. Really am mad at myself for missing that fish. I swung too early. I needed to let him take it just a little bit more. It was on the outside edge of his mouth. I saw it and I saw his head turn and then he just popped free. <gasps> oh my gosh, no, dude, why is he missing it? He's short striking it. Is this normal? Is this what big brown trout do? They just play with your heart? Like, oh my gosh. I swear it's the same fish and he just keeps coming up and swiping at it, but he's not eating it. Like he's, I don't, like what am I, I don't know what's going on, but he's just coming up swiping at it, hitting it a little bit, but then he'll, he'll swim away. I should have left like 10 minutes ago, but that fish has completely freaked me out and I wanted so badly to catch him. That was, I, I have no idea how big he truly was, but I saw his side the last time and there was a lot of length to that fish. Holy cow, I gotta get going, unfortunately, because I, now I'm starting to locate bigger fish and I'm super thrilled about it, but I'm just gonna have to come back. And you know what? I haven't been putting in enough time on trout to really deserve a fish like that, so I'm okay with it. I'm super pumped about the fish that I've caught today. It was such a fun trip and I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure to stay tuned because I'm tr gonna try to catch some more trout in the future. Hopefully I can learn a few more things about these big fish because woof, that was thrilling. My heart was freaking pumping. All right, have a great day. We'll see you later.